Imagine combining Legends of Zelda or Pokemon with Zoom or Skype. You spawn as a little 2D character, freely roam around the cute hand-drawn 2D world and stumble upon other characters. But these aren't NPCs, they're actual humans you can go and talk to. This is Topia.io, a platform that calls itself Spatial Media. And in short, it tries to answer the question many of us asked ourselves before, especially in the recent pandemic-induced increase in remote work. How can we make remote calls a little bit more lifelike? I know you're there, I can see you. I'm only joking, he's fine. So rather than sitting in front of a bunch of rectangular faces in a Zoom call, you sit in front of a bunch of rectangular faces in Topia.io, but if you decide to move away, the rectangles fade away. If somebody's standing a little bit to your left, you hear them a little bit more to your left. If you stand amongst a group of people, the loudest will be the people standing right next to you. So simply speaking, it is actually spatial. The few short sessions I had with Topia made me feel like it's like going to a pub, but one where everybody is really friendly and totally don't mind you talking to them. And what if I wanted a bit more privacy without anyone eavesdropping on my secret nuclear strike conversation I'm having with Vladimir? Well, Topia allows you to create your own worlds, i.e. private rooms, for free. So all Vladimir and I need to do is to move to another world of our own and finish our secretive chat there. Each world is given a unique URL, and unless we share it with anyone else, it's virtually unsearchable. Which brings us to another fun exploration aspect of the platform. You can only really go around by word of mouth. There is no search functionality, so to be able to go and explore various worlds, you need to be told about them or discover their link in other ways. I don't think there is a set target audience for Topia. Just about anyone can benefit from such an interaction type, as quite simply, this makes any virtual meetings, well, just a little less virtual. However, at a glance, Topia can benefit three types of virtual calls, other than the usual one-on-ones. Firstly, and probably most obviously, companies. Whether it's daily stand-ups, announcements, meetings, client calls, reviews, or what have you. Secondly, conferences, meetings, and parties. As having 10 people in a Zoom call is already a crowd. With Topia, one could gather theoretically unlimited amounts of people, where spatial limitation allows them to mingle, interact, and network more naturally in groups, avoiding the usual non-interactivity that standard conferences involve. Thirdly, games, escape rooms, and RPGs. Given that you can design and upload your own world assets to Topia, and there are plans for allowing even more user-generated content, you can design your own entire worlds and gamify the experience in any way you like. I wish I could give more credit to the authors of Topia, but all the information I could find on their platform is that it is made with love by a remote team. So in either case, big thumbs up to the lovely remote team for making such a cool app. I visited Topia a number of times already, and once I invited my friend Ryan to join me for a Topia party, which due to time zone difference happened at 10am on Sunday for me, so I was sipping tea instead of wine. And overall, I'm intrigued. Primarily because the community at the moment seems to be very open and welcoming, which makes it very easy to make friends these days, especially if you happen to be locked up in your apartment for the past few months. Hey Brian, hey. Hey, Brian. hey you're right. How you doing? It blew away like rain sand. And I have a super quick quiz that you may be able to know the answer to. But secondly, because the fundamental assumptions behind Topia actually do work. It really is easier to virtually talk to a bunch of people if you take the spatial relationship into account. In all fairness though, it is not perfect. There is a substantial lag when interacting with the character, although this could be caused by me being located on the other side of the globe. 
Also, the spatial sound sometimes fails to accurately represent the positions of other people around me, taking me out of the illusion of actually being surrounded by other humans and defaulting to what the standard virtual calls sound like. My friend Ryan made an interesting observation about virtual calls, that when somebody leaves or joins the video, the other people's faces move around the screen to provide the additional space. This, like Ryan correctly noted, doesn't happen in real life and makes the virtual calls a little more awkward. Unfortunately, Topia currently suffers from the same problem, although I say currently as given the existing spatial positioning already in place, this problem could be addressed by binding the position of the videos with the position of people's 2D avatars on the screen. Truly, the existing fundamental setup of Topia gives an opportunity for so many potential additions that could make speaking to other humans over the internet significantly better than what it currently is. But even in its current format, Topia is a massive leap forward when compared to Zoom, Skype, Teams, Meet or whatever you may be using. So I have nothing left to do but to suggest that you head on over to topia.io forward slash welcome and try it out on your own.